Hello and welcome to Privas Whiskey Flu. Today we're going to tie this fly. It's a needle fly tied on a tubing. I call it a tube needle fly. It's very versatile. You can use it with a lot of hooks. You change hooks, uh, put it in on the back of this tubing and you have a very nice fly. Uh, it's an idea I had with another successful fly tying uh, pattern I had called the needle fly but uh, this one is okay uh, now I'm gonna same, tell you a little about the, the same materials fly, but I've been used on the in the fly all right so why don't you see First how I tie this fly okay. I have this tubing into my vise the vise is a stone for transformer with the tube vise attachment you can just Touch it like this, very nice. And I cut a piece of this tubing and the right length and burned it in both ends into the tube, into the needle. This needle is a little too big, but that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, I uh, have made um, a tail of two parts of bucktail the first part is white bucktail the second part is a charter bucktail all right and i made some uh, use this mono thread 0.1 mono thread to make the thread stick a little better i use some ski wax i'm gonna put the cap back on so it looks a little better so old ski wax I have, very nice, like dubbing wax. And to make it unravel, don't unravel, I use some super glue for this, all right? Super glue. And uh, after making the tail, I attached some, uh, some of this. Pearl braid. This I made got from China, but there's several vendors and uh, shops that can deliver this. Okay. And the eyes is this kind of eyes. I don't quite know what this called. I got this from China as well, but I think it's about uh, seven or eight millimeters wide. Three D eyes. All right and uh, first you can attach your eyes in the back of the fly with some super glue hopefully the gel type not the one i have here or you can use some uh, like i did it's more slower curing on this liquid fusion all right and you can use, uh, I used some um, epoxy, zap epoxy. There is a hardener, there you have the resin. Mix equal parts of this onto a paper, mix it together with a bodkin and smear it out onto the fly's body and make it cure in between the eyes and over the body. Voila, there you have it, finished needle tube fly that lasts a long time. You can use uh, several kinds of hook on it. What hook it fits di directly into the tubing is this uh, uh, salt water shrimp from Partridge in size 4. But if you make another tubing, I'm gonna find a thicker tubing I think I got one silicone thing like like this you can snip off this it has a name for it in English but I'm not quite sure what it is here we have this little flexible tubing that's gonna fit outside this if I'm not 
completely well maybe a larger one but well you can see what I mean you see now you can place this I have to make it into the view part you can place it outside the tubing on the back because I left a little space on the back there so now you can put larger flies hook into the tubing like that you see that's the main idea but I'm gonna stick with this so all right now we're gonna start tying this fly what I've been doing is using my stone for transformer tube fly extension I cut a piece of this tubing burned in one end each, each end slide it into the needle and attach my thread I still use, use mono thread for this so I have to be careful now because this is very slick so I use some ski wax to make it stick a little better like that you see now it lost and loosened because I have to just make it stay there some more wrappings and everything's gonna be okay all right I'm gonna leave a little space here if you want another tubing to go outside this to fit larger hooks this tubing is gonna fit size 4 shrimp hook Just gonna put it into the back of this and it's gonna stay there okay now I take my make my tail it's got a fairly large fly this I take the bottom piece it's gonna be white back tail snip off a little piece of that just clean my desk a little bit measure out how long I want it it's gonna be like that measure out okay and make it go onto the hook the tubing sorry I'm used to tie hooks these days and try to manipulate your bucktail to go all around the tube and make sure it really looks like that I think that's fair enough because on the top side of this I'm gonna use Chartreux Backtail. I'm gonna use a fairly same long piece like this. Now I'm gonna put that aside to clean my desk a little bit and I take get rid of all these short pieces I thought that one was a little too too thin so I take another one make the same with that snip off measure out just clean out all the short pieces you don't have to be all the same length because that will look unnatural now I'm gonna move my thread in front of this white back tail and measure out how long you want this chatter to be I want the tips to just align just about I snip it off touch to the top some loose wrappings 
and the same procedure use your fingers to manipulate the chartreur to go around the tubing it will be a very easy process because the tubing is very slick so it should slide around all the way like that you see the hairs are gonna splay a little bit because of the wise but now I'm gonna find my super glue because this is fairly slick materials I don't want it to unravel so I use my super glue and go over this thread wrappings like that so now it's going to stay there and now I'm going to take my materials of the body it's going to be this braid in pearl I love this color it's a very nice shine to it very fishy is what's gonna be it's gonna be a fishy fly and attach it make it go over the back tail a little bit so it don't be any bellies on this right move forwards on this be sure to stop a little bit before you hit the end of this tubing and to very smart move is to make a little half hitch on the end there because this little baby has to has to tendency to unravel and now you have to tug a little bit on this and hold on their tubing it can loosen on this needle but go over this and wrap forwards like this like this like this make sure bobbin don't unravel this thing over and over the overhand method like that and tie off in a controlled manner so it don't unravel on you but if it does it's no crisis you can pick it up again and now I'm making a video and I learned that when you're making a video everything can happen every bad thing can happen to you now just make a little nice ending on this make sure that this is completely attached all right see now it's very shiny very very shiny and now i'm gonna take my whip finisher make a nice couple of whip finish on the end there and like this don't tug too hard because when this tubing is gonna unravel it's make a whole lot of noise whole lot of problems just to make sure that everything stays where it should some super glue onto the wrappings and your almost done with the fly tying part now we're gonna glue on some eyes and i'm gonna find my eyes where did i put it i'm gonna look a little around my desk okay sorry about that now i found my eyes it looks like this fairly large eyes i think this is about uh, seven millimeters i can measure out with my tool here i think that's approximately seven or eight millimeters 
I think it's more 8 and 7. Okay. That's not so very important. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take out of this plastic covering or this ice and take a couple of them place it on my finger like that see there are some pupils on this I think this is gonna be on the back side All right now I'm gonna attach the eyes to the fly I'm not sure what I'm gonna use if I'm gonna use this uh, super glue and more if I'm gonna take on some some of this stuff I think I'm gonna do a little liquid fusion now just to attach it I'm gonna cover all this with some um, epoxy afterwards some little dab on my paper you don't need much for this a little thing goes a long way all right I take take some dabbing onto this and to the side of this this light and take one eye place it onto that hopefully it will stay there And take a little dab on the other side maybe I should take a little more it's a little too like that all right I like to cover it a little bit and make sure that the pupil points the right way I think it's gonna be like this okay see now it's looking very good after already take the glue put it outside my desk and um, see now I have this ice glue on not permanently but uh, it's gonna be because now I'm gonna take a little sip of my beer can <laughs> it's not sure if the ice is gonna stay like this I'm gonna give it a try okay now I'm gonna take change the paper on my block I just mix my glues onto a little block of paper and I take my epoxy one resin and one hardener it cures in five minutes so I got five minutes on me a little dab onto the paper with the resin first and another dab same amount of the hardener just beside it like that it smells like old fish of this hardener but I can endure it because it's very good it's very good mix it all together those two blobs of glue mix the hardener into the resin I'm not going to show you that but don't haste this because if you use very much force on this it can capture air bubbles in, in between you don't want to do that now you take your glue and into the middle of the eyes and cover 
the whole body with us. Now we have to have a rotation wise. Otherwise, this is going to be a very difficult procedure. The space between the eyes is important. Try to cover all of this body with the glue now and rotate this fly like this. Maybe I shall have a little more glue on the underside of the eyes because it's not important to cover the outside of the eyes. You can't... You can.